Hello everybody. Welcome back in my YouTube channel. Today in this session we are going to learn about the poem Poet, Lover and Bird Watcher written by Nisim Ejkin. I, your teacher, Professor Mahesh Shivaji Hulkar from Kikivak Arts, Commerce, Science and Computer Science College, Kakasaram Nagar. Today, I'm going to discuss with you about the poem. And through these poems, poem, here the poet has expresses the actions. These are the three different persons poet, lover, and bird watchers. And these three persons are able to achieve the mastery only when they have the happiness. Here, poet trying to find out similarity between these three persons. And this similarity is a patience. If you want to become a poet, you need a patience. Patience for the good word. Only collecting the words from here and there and making them a stanza or the structure and you are not able to say, yes, I am a poet. So, this point, poet is also trying to hear. Same one is that for becoming a lover, a good lover, he also needs a patience. We need to understand the woman first. Even when the woman believes on you, then she is able to surrender you by heart, by beauty, by all her imaginations. And finally, the third one is also the same for the bird watcher. If you want to watch the bird, it is not a simple task. You, put, you took your camera and went into the uh, uh, jungle and you realize that all birds they are coming in front of you and you are putting you are taking their you are taking their photos no it is not a easy job for capturing the birds in your camera you need or the bird watcher needs a patient he needs to wander into the thorny area. He needs to wander into the forest and he needs a patient. Okay? So, for understanding of the poem, we are going to learn some views. Students, Eskil's poems are rule lucid and splendidly evocative and Satisfyingly sincere. His poetry reveals more careful craftsmanship, a more conscious intellectuality. His sense of sketches, as well as his serious efforts on behalf of the experience, have won his skill numerous appeals for both his young adult and adult writer. <coughs> Poet, lover, and bird watcher included in the volume The Exact Me is a poem where beauty and bareness of statement go together. The theme of bird watching, moving, and writing poetry together are shows their resemblance. And what is the resemblance? It is the need for vision. Quiet, waiting until the rear bird is revealed. The woman feels loved and the right word is found for the poem. Great lovered bird watcher, taken from the volume, the exact name. It was published in 1965. <coughs> it is the most beautiful of his skills. The poem tells us the secret of poetic creation and the poem tells us the secret of taking the poetic creations. The title which is suggestive of Shakespeare's The Lunatic, The Lover and The Poet. 
So, tale of the poem is taken from Shakespeare's work, and Shakespeare's line is the lunatic, the lover, and the poet. But the poet make the line the poet, lover, and adventurer. In original line, Shakespeare's what trying to say in the lunatic, the lover, and the poet. This line is mentioned in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Puts the poet, the lover, and the bird watcher on a liver. Shakespeare put them together because all of them were of imagination compact. Shakespeare trying to say that these three things, lunatic, the lover, and the poet, they are the part of imagination compact. But here, Skill finds another common in this group, namely that all three are given to patient, silent waiting, and that they show the same sensitivity to experience. The poem reveals the nature of the poetic perception through the network of highly prolific metaphor in which the images merge into each other like lovers in the act of love. Poet or bird watcher begins by defining the mood in which all those who study birds or women must place themselves. Birds or women symbolizes freedom, imagination, love, and creativity. A posture of stillness is recommended because it is in stillness that one listens to the stirrings of the sound. A necessary prerequisite to the study of freedom and creativity. That is why the best poet always wait for words from the center of stillness before they articulate. The interconnected images in the poem explain each vocation, running after a rare bird, and the right word is as uncertain and risky a proposition as a successful winning over a girl. This poem's work, this poem's works because the intricacy of the images play. An image starts out referring to one and then goes on to embrace the other to activity. The fourth section opens with a reference to pass, which is taken up in the second section by slow movement. Yambic pentameter lines reinforce the idea of steady pace. All three are hunters. All three are hunters. We are told, ironically, none are going to devour what they succeed to hunt. The quest motive implies the necessity of learning. This differentiated placement is suggestive of who is learning and who becomes a lesson. Lover and bird watcher are illustrative cases for the poet. Learn the craft of poetry. The last two lines of both the sections indicate that the moral to be learned is for the okay. So thank you for being a part of this life-saving word, life words. Thank you all of you. Thank you so much.